All right, this is VJ from the 478, and I got a quick little video for you. It's an update on my 2020 Wide Body Challenger, and what I did today is what every owner of any of these vehicles, um, the 392, the Hellcats, all those, um, you will need. It's a must-have oil catch can. This is a UPR product, and this is the actual piece that you unscrew and it catches your oil. Well, reason why these cars need them is because all that oil from the top of the motor gets down into the intake. And so what it does is actually comes through here, catches it, and then you unscrew this piece right here and empty it out. And that keeps, you know, um, oil and everything getting back into the top of the intake sludging it up and all that good stuff and you will actually be surprised after 500 miles you'll get at least about a quarter of this filled up i wouldn't exceed over a thousand um but it keeps you on your on your toes um about you know changing this it's not for everybody for the simple fact that you have people out there um, that won't change or check their oil. Um, and what's going to happen is the reason why, in my theory, that Dodge does not provide these on their vehicles is because you have to get somebody like moi, like me, to actually go out there and unscrew this and empty this out. You're not going to want to... Um, undo this and then pour it back into the motor no it's it smells it smells like gas and all that good stuff once that oil and that mixture is in there but it's, it's gonna give you longevity on this 392 and it'll keep from sludging that that uh intake up but if you got one of these this like i said this product is named um it came from a company called uh upr and this is the variety of uh vehicles it's going to fit on. It fits on the 5.7, the 6.1, and the 6.4. Um, yeah, and, and it works on the Jeeps um, as well. Uh, but yeah, man, it, it's fairly inexpensive. It runs you around 150 bucks. Um, it's not that difficult to install. The novice installer can install this. But you undo this. This, um, go like that just you know ease it out you're not gonna be careful you're not gonna want to break that but then they give you the couplers and then you turn around and you turn this this way and then cut the hose to where this will actually you know um, line up without any you know too much tension or it's, it's all in a straight line but they give you the hoses they give you the couplers um, and then it's it's got an o-ring on it and just keeps it sealed up so you don't have any issues with with leaking but the 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 thing is like i said i wouldn't exceed over a thousand miles on on checking this um but like i said that's that's my theory on the reason why Dodge um, and didn't include this into their packages, knowing that th these motors and these vehicles need this on there to keep oil out of the intake, but you have to manually go out there and you know undo this catch can and, and pull the oil out. And if you don't, you're liable to leak through the seals. And you see that right underneath there. That's your alternator. So they're like, eh, we're not gonna warranty out an alternator because you got oil in it because you didn't, you know, saying um, pour your your oil out of your catch can and then you have your belts down there. You don't want to get oil on that and throw a belt off. So warranty issues. I see why they didn't put it on there. It's all up to you. But if you got one of these, get one of those. All right. My name is BJ. We're from the four seven eight. We're in Macon, Georgia. If you need me, you got any questions, like, share this video. 
I got tons more parts coming. I got my wheels coming. Um, probably tomorrow, a little bit tomorrow, I'll install my wicker build um, on the back of this thing. I got carbon fiber splitters. I got a lot of parts. So please stay tuned to my video. And if you have any questions about installing this or what you need to do, where you, what part number you need, just ask me. I'll be more than happy to leave it down in the comments and the descriptions. And thank you. Y'all have a great day and stay tuned.